It's the hairstyle that stood the test of time. Is not what people typically say about the mullet. And they do say a lot of things. They're amazing. I don't feel great about mullets, to be honest. Um, yeah, not a huge fan. Definitely like to see more of them, yes. Mullets are interesting. They're just a beautiful expression of hair. Hi, my name's Aaron. 21 years of age and I'm a jeep rocker from Blacktown. The mullet had a relatively brief but very bright 15 minutes of fame in the 80s and early 90s. So we're leaving it a little bit longer down the back because um, Aaron likes to have this hanging at the bottom of his helmet. Making him look a bit cool when he's riding his bike, I guess. And it felt like anyone, who was anyone, had one. Even my sister. And my mum. Baby Matt never quite managed one. But in just a few years, it became not just unfashionable, but the butt of a lot of jokes. What's the story here? I'm a white trash idiot. What? So the mere thought, let alone sight of one, in 2020 typically attracts a lot of attention. Yeah, you get a lot of funny looks on the street, you know? And they're a bit frowned upon because they kind of have a bit of stigma attached to them. Recently, Cooper Allens wasn't just frowned upon. The 18-year-old from Perth was refused entry to a pub just because of his hair. The Western Australian Premier leapt to his defence. Oh, I just encourage people with mullets to rise up and rebel <laughs> against these extreme uh, rules pubs are imposing. Um, I think you should be free to have a mullet. <laughs> And so did a lot of others. It's pretty disgraceful, to be honest. The comeback was, it's a dress code. And you were saying a mullet is a dress code. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. I can't believe it. So is it time to rise up and rebel? Maybe we don't have to. Because the mullet's already earned an important and official place in our history. The Oxford English Dictionary defines a mullet as a hairstyle worn especially by men in which the hair is cut short at the front and sides and left long at the back. Which means all of these haircuts throughout history could really be called mullets. But there's speculation the look goes back even further and proved rather useful in prehistoric times. A short fringe keeping hair out the eyes, while extra growth at the back kept the neck warm and protected it from the rain. Nice. There are also Greek statues that date back to the sixth century that are a little mullety, while ancient Roman chariot races rocked them too. But the term itself didn't come onto the scene until much more recently, with the Beastie Boys song Mullet Head in 1994. With a band. The Oxford Dictionary credits the band with naming the fad, although long before the Hair Association, mullet head was an insult to label someone lacking in common sense. What's the thinking behind uh, this cut? <laughs> There's no shame in being a mullet head today. At least according to Tom. All the best parts of having long hair, but it doesn't get in your face. He enjoys them so much, he's even making a book of photos devoted to the mullet and the people who wear them. I've kind of, I kind of categorise everyone's mullet that I photograph into like everyday, traditional, there's the scullet. Nick's agreed to appear in Tom's book and was pleasantly surprised when he first took the mullet plunge. Now I know what it feels like to have a mullet, which I didn't know before. Do you think you look good with a mullet? I think it kind of suits me, weirdly. Yeah, didn't expect that. How do you think I would look with a mullet? I reckon you'd look great. Should I do it? Yeah, you definitely should. So, yeah, oh. this overall will be improved by, by having a mullet? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Like, a long? Like... No, I reckon kind of like, like this. Like, oh yeah, a bit of a... Look, I'm not convinced, but a lot of people are. It's not, a, it's not really a hairstyle, it's more of a lifestyle. Every year, mullets line the streets of Curry Curry in New South Wales. 
People come from around the country and the world all to prove they have the best mullet. So Mullet Fest began um, as an idea to save the hotel. We wanted um, a good, clean, fun tourism injection. It worked, and Laura thinks it's helped improve the mullet's social standing too. It's actually okay to have a mullet because I think for a long time they really were put down, I guess. Um, whereas now, you know, it's totally acceptable to have a mullet in all walks of life. It's even creeping its way back into pop culture. This is Billy Ray Cyrus's 1993 smash hit, Achy Breaky Heart. An even bigger hit, that mullet. 27 years later, this is his daughter, Miley. Yes, she's playing to a lot fewer fans, no fans actually, but that's because of COVID-19, not because she's not famous. She's actually, she's very famous, very popular. Anyway, that mullet is just bang on. Whether you want to use it as inspiration is a completely different story, but there are plenty of mullets out there to pick from. Look, maybe we'll never see one quite as luscious as George Clooney's, but hey, we can all try. Hello and thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more great videos here that we're making at BTN, please hit subscribe and consider liking.